Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about some of the new Dark Angel stuff that was put out on the Warhammer community site. This is part of the new Horus Heresy book and it's called The Road to Framus. The Framus is a big crusade that happened between the Night Lords and of course the Dark Angels during the Horus Heresy. Some epic battles in there, Kurs and the Lion fighting. The Lion has a secret little grudge, well I say it's not a secret grudge, it's a grudge against uh, Conrad Kurs. He goes hunting him, tracking him down and stuff like that there's books dedicated to it it's a fantastic little read if you ever get around to it now of course with me and the horror series there's been a kind of a distance lately um, and i don't mean that in a bad way it's just that since 8th edition came out i had more fun playing 8th edition and for me it's all about fun so that's where i put all my thought and my effort into i actually still have some of my imperial fist force which is part of my big imperial fist horus heresy force most of it got sold on because it was mostly a templar brethren force i had sigismund loads of templar brethren it was amazing of course i still got my rogo dawn i will never ever sell glorious dawn dada um in my display case uh, but mostly i, I just I, I just focused on 8th edition but the more i see week well i say week by week monthly that they're the, 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 they're kind of starting to get back onto the track of the horror series once again i am completely blown away by some of the tanks some of the newer models and um, which certain legions are getting like the night lord stuff and um, i thought was completely mind-blowingly awesome i know that was like a couple of months ago now and stuff like that but once their leviathan came out with like like the half dead carcass on it and stuff i was like oh my god this is absolutely beautiful and the dark angels are now receiving that treatment and i think once their entire force is out that too will look absolutely stunning the article itself goes into detail and says the next series of the Horus Heresy campaign book features the history of the Dark Angels including how the Legion operated both before and after the discovery of their Primarch. Lionel Johnson, there's a name, uh, some of the most famous campaigns leading up to the Framus Crusade as well, as an in-depth exploration of the brutal conflicts between Dark Angels and the Night Lords that engulfed the large parts of the Eastern Fringe. So it's not all about the Night Lords and it's really, really interesting um, when you get to learn about your Legions. I think that's one of the best things about these Horus Heresy books. Black when Alan Bly was lighting in, rest in peace, Alan, absolutely fantastic writer. Um, he, he he actually detailed so many cool things about the Imperial Fist. And not just the Imperial Fist, you know, the Ultramarines, ev ev everyone that got their little glimpse into the Horus Heresy books, there was just so much more character detail added that you didn't even think of and it really brought each legion to life and i thought it's absolutely fantastic and it's it's great that there's a book out there that does that if you're you know if you're a fan of a certain legion or a certain you know space marine or, or space marines or something like that i think it's really really great now of course that i think the biggest thing out of all of this is a primark <laughs> now i know me and primarks uh, we go way back but when it comes to the horror series say primarks that they're everywhere. They're absolutely everywhere, except if you're, you know, uh, Ferris, which you're probably in two places at the same time. But uh, <laughs> that's another video for another time. So I expect with um, the Framus book coming out, um, the Lionel Johnson will be dropping. Surely, surely the Lion has to drop with it, or maybe beforehand. I don't really know what the release schedule is when it comes to releasing Primarchs and um, Horus Heresy books. I just saw Rogel Dawn one day appear, and I was like, oh my god, instantly bought it straight away. I'm not sure he came out with the actual um, Imperial Fist book um, at the same time. Um, but with the Lion, he is one of the most well-known Primarchs, let's say. For me, I actually really enjoy the Lion. His um, personality um, <laughs> how do I best say this? Um, his personality is very, very different from everyone else's. He he kind of um, does things his way, let's say. And if you don't do it his way, then he'll probably have a word to say to you, um, or maybe you'll even lose your head if you if he agrees with you. Uh, sorry, if he disagrees with you that much. Um, but the lion as a whole, I'm really looking forward to see what his models like. I really want like a knightly kind of awesome looking Primark model and we haven't really had that yet and well you can technically argue that Rogel Dawns were very stoic and well I won't, I won't really say knightly but you know looking over the bastion kind of um thing I really want the lion to just look like kind of a medieval 
techno night with like you know great swords and cloaks and little sigils and stuff everywhere that's what how i picture the lion because if you haven't read the horace heresy series his home world where he was found was like a very nightly ordered world and stuff like that so that's where they get all their themes from of the dark angels and knights and raven guard and all that cool stuff now on to actually some of the new units which are specifically for the dark angels that i mentioned in this article it says a host of new legion pacific units are available uh, for the first legion to field including the dreadwing interemptors hopefully i'm pronouncing that right similar to the destroyers of other legions the interemptors are the lion's ultimate sanction his final curse for those foolish enough to stand against the dark angels and with plasma burners they bring absolute devastation to your enemies and the little image in the background is of course them and i think it, i think they look great i like the little helmets I, I think they're new helmets if i'm not mistaken um i haven't really been playing hot cloak that close to the horus heresy i definitely know that those plasmas are new there's those interemptive plasma cannon uh, plasma guns um so I, I i would guess that all of that kit is brand new and it also mentions um, some more characters as well. For those of you who are familiar with the lore of the Dark Angels, you'll probably recognize some of these. It says, um, in, in Crusade, you'll also find rules to field um, a Maduk um, Cedras um, and um, Eschaton of the Dreadwing. And it says, at the start, the Horus Heresy says Cedras was one of the oldest living space marines, having faithfully served the Emperor for 250 years. That actually seems kind of small now compared to some of the 40k stuff like when 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 you think of like old space marines you instantly go to people like dante and think who's like you know seven was it 1700 years now and stuff like that but then again dante is something who's completely wild and outside the box and he, you know he's lived more than actual primarchs really because i don't really count the living in the warp as living in proper time and anything like that right on to a legion um a quitter bomb bombard hopefully i'm pronouncing it right because this thing just looks so funky and just insane so it says for this it says um with its reinforced uh, uh chasser and a brutal short range firepower the legion um acquitted bombard is called upon to break the most stubborn enemy fortifications i don't think you'd be able to break dawn's glorious fortifications but again sure can try it we, we can just laugh in the distance um or annihilate mass troops and armor uh, deployed alongside infantry squads the space marine and uh, know these artillery pieces will see them through the most uh, ferocious of firefights i think it's a really really cool thing i actually really like that the horror series as a whole you can really go in and just do all these crazy designs because the space marines were just at the peak of like their kind of technology back then. When I say the Space Marines, uh, the Mechanicum and stuff were really at the peak of like their like the Emperor just make everything, just go insane, and you know just all all the weapons and stuff like that. And this is what we're you know we're seeing brought to the tabletop and stuff. And they look nice as well. I think they really really look nice. I think it's a really real cool looking tank. If we switch over to the back of the tank, you can actually see it now where it's like embedded into it. And, it, you know, it, that's what, you know, it is that little artillery piece. It's just pointing up just to shoot over and blow things up. It says the, the Bombard can be equipped with a variety of weapons, the most esoteric of which is the gravitational charge cannon. Yeah, I knew it was a grav cannon because grav cannons always have those little green things on the side of it. Shown here, like all gravitational weapons, it, it, uh, it pulverizes its targets, cracking bowls and rupturing organs. The Legion um, uh, Bombard can be fielded by both traitors and the Loyalists in new units up to three vehicles very cool and um, it's sure to prove a popular weapon on the battlefield um, of the age of darkness so i can see a lot of iron warriors and um, deploying these thinking they can take down dawn's glorious defenses but they shall have another thing coming it says horus heresy book nine which is whoa is that where we are book nine i thought we we're on like book four or five or something like that uh, crusade will be available next year the book also includes rules for legion saber strike tank uh, the perfect tool for your dark angels night lords or any other legion for that matter grab one today and there's a little link there if you want to go and check out the saber strike tank there's no point that's already been out for a couple of months so there we go a nice little article which really puts me in the mood to start looking back at the horus heresy as a whole i think if i was to go back to the horus heresy at this moment in time and i actually am thinking of going back to it then i'd probably use my custody force that I already have inside my cabinet because I already have units from that that is actually involved in, well, really everything in the custody range can be used in the Horus Heresy as well as 40k because they were around back then and the arsenal of weapons that they had back then 
hasn't really changed. So I think it's best for me to probably just focus on bringing Custodes. And I've heard Custodes are very, very powerful as well. And they can uh, really mash it up on the battlefield, which is always good. You know, if you want to bring a force, you just want to crush your enemy before you and laugh as they run to the hills. Nothing can beat my oiled up boys. All right, Chaperunios, that is me done for another video. Hope you've enjoyed it. What do you think? Are you a Dark Angel fan? Have you been waiting for this? I know one thing. I'm just going to mention it right at the end because I should have mentioned it at the start of the video. I have a friend called Witch King. I follow him on... Um, uh, um, uh, Twitter and stuff like that. We always game together when we do tabletop. And he is a massive Dark Angel fan. And it's become like a meme between us and our group of friends now at the moment. Like when we go to events, just to say, hey, have you got any of those um, Dark Angels decals? Because <laughs> they've, they've been saying next year, yeah, we'll, we'll probably see some next year and stuff like that. And every year, they've, they've just not had any. So <laughs> that's when it grew into a meme. So hopefully, with this roll to Frabus and the, 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 the release of the Crusade book, we'll actually get some Dark Angel decals and he shall be a happy chappy. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Leave your thoughts, feedback, everything like that in the comment section down below and we'll have a nice little chat about it down there. See you now and bye-bye.